you know, I think I'm going to post this to YouTube. Who knows? I may be famous one day. <laughs> but yeah. The cops came back out. Like I, like I said. And he was like, here, hey, here's the statement. Write out the statement. Uh, make sure to include that he turned it up even louder after we had left. So, after I wrote out the statement, the guy just seemed like he was irritated by the dude upstairs, you know? He said, I think that guy's on something. I don't know what he's on, but he's on something. And the female cop was like, okay, so is it going to be a disorderly conduct? He's like, no, I'm just doing a noise complaint, disturbing the peace. He's like, oh, okay. So he must have fucking... I don't know, he must have got pretty fucking mouthy with him, you know? So I'm pretty surprised they didn't do the disorderly conduct. That would have, the guy probably would have tried to fight me after that, though. Kind of, kind of glad it's just disturbing the peace. But either way, if you give me any problems, I'll just call the cops again. And I'll talk to the landlord. I'll have to make me another video if he tries to fight me. We'll see what happens with the landlord. And obviously, I doubt he's going to turn it back on. Once you get a ticket, and you have to pay money for it. And you know, after that, you're going to get a bigger... Um, I don't know what you call it, a bigger ticket, or, uh, you know, the, the disturbing the peace will go up to a disorderly conduct, so you'll get heavier, you'll get a, I don't know what to call it, you get a worse grade of charge on your ticket, if they have to, in the near future, come back out for the same exact, like you're, okay, you get a ticket for playing yourself with a really loud in your apartment at three in the morning. What happens when you get in trouble for the same thing the next night? Do you just get another disturbing the peace ticket? Or does it get, you know, upgraded? Like, is this guy going to have to see the judge for this ticket? I can understand why the cops have been out here ten times and have never given them a ticket. No one ever told me before that I'm required to fill out a statement in order for them to give a ticket for disturbing the peace. If it's within an apartment complex, at least, and private property. You know what I mean? He said he wasn't going to do the disorderly conduct because it wasn't within 25 feet. I'm pretty sure if that guy is right above me in that apartment right above me I'm pretty sure that's within 25 feet I don't know what the fuck like, like I don't understand how that's disorderly conduct like you're not in public you know what I mean like I'm trying to think I don't know I don't know how shit works. I don't even know why I'm whispering. <laughs> Seems like you can't hear anything anywhere around here. Which is good, but fuck. Clearly, you mean someone has a subwoofer. Um, I don't know if like these thick walls make it louder. Or what? I don't 
know what, man. This shit is loud. But clearly, there's got to be a point when you just decide to look. My 1,000-watt sound system with my five speakers and my whole gigantic 10, 12-inch subwoofer might just be a little too much for a little apartment complex on the third floor, which is the highest floor, at 3 o'clock in the morning. Turned up at least halfway, if not, if not seriously, like almost all the way. I mean, that was loud. He clearly turned it up louder after the cop left the first time. But who knows how loud it really was. But clearly, this dude is not going to be doing that shit again. Like, I'm obviously going to have to talk to the landlord now that I legitimately filed charges. And it's been ten times, and I got video proof for every single time. 1000 XM3 Sony headphones over ear. Hook that up to the headphone jack to my Note 9. Turn it up full blast. Anybody who does that and listens to the videos. is gonna definitely, 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 definitely agree with me that that is extremely too loud. And you need my brother, I got him on one of the videos clearly saying like, hey, yeah, that's way too loud. Oh, now they're gonna walk around real heavy. I think that guy's just drunk. I mean, it is Friday night. He's allowed to be drunk. I just think... You're being a little fucking rude. Like, you're being a little fucking rude. I don't like... I don't like guys that call the cops. I don't like them little bitches. Yeah, this is gonna end with someone getting their ass beat. Why are you, you threatening me, man? I ain't fucking threatening you. I'm just saying. I don't like motherfucking tattletales or whatever he called it. I was like, I was like, I'm like, do you really want to fight about it? He has his shirt off. 45 year old man really tan kind of bald looking like from California high on some pulls his fucking firebird Pontiac whatever it is right back into the parking spot where I'm standing on the sidewalk which is where he was parked originally he, all he did was pull out a little and I said that to him do you really want to fight about it? This guy pulls right back up into his spot nearly hitting me. Puts that shit in park. Gets out of the car. Gets in my face. Says, says, yeah, you want to fucking fight? Let's fight then. You want to fight? He said, you want to fight? Dude, I said, dude, I didn't move an inch. Looked him right in his eye. Said, dude, I don't mean fucking physically fight, man. Come on. I just mean, do you really want to, like, have me call the cops again? Do you really want me to get the landlord involved? I mean, do you really want to, like, I'm like, just don't.